Hello friends, in this part, we will learn, how to add or insert new student standard data into MySQL database by using PHP script under the student fees management system project. In previous part, we have seen, how to fetch student standard data from multiple MySQL table and load in jQuery data tables plugin. By using PHP script, so if you have not seen that part, so first watch that part. Now we have go to student standard.php file and under this file we want to make link for load add student standard form. So by click on that link, admin can reach add new student standard web page and can able to add new student standard data under this system. So for this, here we have to write anchor tag with href attribute is equal to student standard.php file. After this, we have to write, question mark, with action variable is equal to add. And under anchor text, we have to write add, so by click on this link, admin can open add student standard form. Now here, we have used same file for add, update and list student standard data. So for this, here we have to write, if statement and under condition, we have to write is set function and under this function we have to write dollar get action variable so if this variable value set then it will execute this if block of code and in else block we will display student standard data in jquery data table library with server side processing of data Now under this if block, we have again write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Dollar get action variable value is equal to add, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. Now under this block, we have to paste, this HTML code, so it will make blank template, for add new student standard data. So here, we have to refresh this page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that. Add button has been appear on the web page. So here, we have to click, on this button. So after click on button, here we can see that, add student standard data area has been display, on the web page. And now we want to make form, for add new student standard data. So here, we have to create one form tag, with method attribute is equal to post. Now for select student name details, so here we have to create one select box field. So here we have to write, select tag, with name attribute is equal to, student id, and class is equal to, form control. Now for fill the select box, with student name list, so here we have to write php echo statement with student list data function with dollar connect variable as argument so this function we have make under this database connection dot php file and it will fill this select box with student name data after this for select academic year details so here we have to create another select box field so here we have to write, select tag, with name attribute is equal to, academic year id, and class is equal to, form control. Now for fill this select box, with academic year list, so here we have to write, php echo statement, with academic list data function, with dollar connect variable, as argument. So this function, we have make, under this database connection dot php file, and it will fill this select box, with academic year data. After this, for select academic standard details, so here we have to create, another select box field. So here we have to write, select tag, with name attribute is equal to, academic standard id, and class is equal to, form control.
Now for fill this select box with academic standard data. So here we have to write PHP echo statement with academic standard list data function with dollar connect variable as argument. So this function we have make under this database connection dot PHP file and it will fill this select box with academic standard data. Now for submit form data, so here we have to write, input type is equal to submit. With name is equal to add student standard, and in value attribute, we have to write add, so by click on this button, we can submit form data. Now here, we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that. Student standard add form has been display on the web page with add submit button. And here, we can see that add student standard form has been display. So here our form is ready. Now we have goes to PHP code part at student standard dot PHP file and here we have to create. One dollar error variable is equal to blank value and under this variable we will store validation error. Now below this, we have to write, if statement and under condition, we have to write. PHP is set function, and under this function, we have to write, dollar post add student standard variable. So if this variable value is set, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, dollar form data variable is equal to an array, and under this variable, we will store form data. Now we want to validate student it field data, so here we have to write if statement. And under condition, we have to write PHP empty function, and under this function, we have to write dollar post student ID variable. So this condition will check if this variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. And here we have to write dollar error variable, and here we have to append error message like please select student. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute, else block of code, and under this block. We have to write, dollar form data student ID variable is equal to, dollar post student ID variable. After this, we want to validate, academic year ID field data, so here we have to write, if statement. And under condition, we have to write, PHP empty function, and under this function, we have to write, dollar post academic year ID variable. So it will check, if this field has blank value, then it will execute, if block of code, and here we have to write. So it will check, if this field has blank value, then it will execute, if block of code, and here we have to write. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute, else block of code, and here we have to write. Dollar form data academic year ID variable is equal to dollar post academic year ID variable. After this, we want to validate academic standard ID field data, so here we have to write if statement. And under condition, we have to write PHP empty function, and under this function, we have to write dollar post academic standard ID variable. So it will check, if this field has blank value, then it will execute, if block of code, and here we have to write. Dollar error variable, and in this variable, we have append error message like, please select standard. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute, else block of code, and here we have to write. Dollar form data academic standard ID variable is equal to, dollar post academic standard ID variable. So here we have store all form data under dollar form data variable. Now we want to check any validation error has been occur or not. So for this, here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar error variable value is equal to blank. If this condition true, that means there is no any validation error has been occurs and now we have to proceed for insert student standard data. But before inserting of data, first we want to check, particular student standard data, already exists in database or not. So for this, here we have to write, dollar $query variable is equal to, select star from student standard table. 
In where condition, we have to write, student ID table column value is equal to, dollar form data, student ID variable value. After this, we have to write, academic year it table column value is equal to, dollar form data, academic year ID variable value. After this, we have to write, academic standard ID table column value is equal to, dollar form data, academic standard ID, variable value. And lastly, we have to write, student standard status table column value is equal to, enable. So here this select query will check, particular student standard data, already exists or not. Now below this, we have to write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable, with prepare method. And under this method, we have to write, dollar query method, so it will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so here we have to write, dollar statement variable, with execute method. So this method will execute above query, and now we want to check, number of affected row. Now here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, dollar statement variable, with row count method, which will return, number of affected row is greater than zero. If this condition true, that means, student standard data already exists in database, and it will execute, if block of code. And here we have to write, dollar error variable is equal to, error message like, student standard data already exists. But suppose student standard data is not exists, then it will execute, else block of code. And here, we have proceed for insert student standard data, so here we have to write, dollar data variable is equal to, an array. Now in array first key, we have to write, double colon student ID, and in value, we have to write, dollar form data student ID variable. In array second key, we have to write, double colon academic year ID, and in value, we have to write, dollar form data academic year ID variable. In array third key, we have to write, double colon student standard ID, and in value, we have to write, dollar form data, academic standard ID variable. In array fourth key, we have to write, double colon student standard status, and in value, we have to write, enable. In array fifth key, we have to write, double colon student standard added on, and in value, we have to write, php time function. So here, we have store all data, under this array variable, and now we want to write, insert data query. So here we have to write, dollar query variable is equal to, insert into student standard table, with table column like. Student id, academic year id, academic standard id, student standard status, student standard added on, with values like. Double colon student ID, academic year ID, academic standard ID, student standard status, student standard added on. Now below this query, we have to write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable, with prepare method, and under this method, we have to write, dollar query variable, so it will make query for execution. And now for execute above insert query, so here we have to write, dollar statement variable, with execute method. And under this method, we have to write, dollar data variable, so it will execute above insert query, and insert data into MySQL student standard table. Now after inserting data, now we want to redirect web page to, list of student standard data, so for this, here we have to write header function, and under this, we have write, location which is set to, student standard dot php file, with question mark, and message variable is equal to, add. So it will redirect, web page to this URL, so here our insert data code is ready. And now first we want to display validation error, so here, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, dollar error variable value is not equal to blank. So if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And here we have to write, php echo statement, with dollar error variable, so it will display validation error, on the web page. Same way we want to display success message, so here we have to write, if statement. 
and under condition, we have to write, php is set function, and under this function, we have to write, dollar get message variable. If this variable value is set, then it will execute, if block of code, and under this block, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, dollar get message variable value is equal to, add. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code, and here, we have to write, php echo statement, with success message like, new student standard data added, so this message will be display, on the web page. So here, our code is ready, now want to check, output in the browser. So friends, here first we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. So here, we can see that, add new student standard form has been display, on the web page. And here, we can see that, we can select student name, academic year and standard data, we can select from select box. Now first, we want to check validation error, so here, first we have to directly, click on add button, so after click, on the add button. Here we can see that, validation error has been display, on the web page. Now first we have select student name, from the student name select box. After this, we have select academic year data, from academic year select box. And after this, we have select school standard data, from this, student standard select box. Now we have click on add button, so after click, on the add button, so here we can see that. New student standard data has been added, in this fees management system, and here we can see that. Latest added student standard data, has been display, on the web page. So in this part, we have learned, how to insert new student standard data, into this fees management system, by using PHP script, with MySQL database. In next part, we will show you, how to edit or update existing student standard data, under this fees management system, so we will be meet, in next part.